Hi again, guys. Okay. So the last time we talked about um, Jen in one of these videos. So this time I want to talk about Kira Naremis, who is Jen's partner in crime. Kira's a changeling, so she's one of her alien races, and she starts the story in a very different position, in even a different star system to Jennifer. So I wanted this story to be about two characters teaming up to face the unexpected crises that the galaxy throws at them. I love buddy movies and partnerships. And having an odd couple dynamic really helps to define the characters, since you have scope to highlight the differences between them. Now, one nice advantage of a sci-fi setting is that you have a shorthand to depict some of those differences in the characters if you make one of them an alien. Now, that wasn't the sole motivation for making Kira our second lead character, but I'll come back to that. So Kira's an intelligence agent. She's trained as a lawyer and a diplomat, and at the start of the story she's been embedded in the Marauder government. Now, to be able to do that kind of work, she needed a pretty specific background and temperament. And so certain aspects of her character have developed from the situation that we started her off in. She's intelligent, she's educated, she's highly trained, and she's very patient. She's pretty confident in her professional abilities, but maybe less so in her social skills. So here's Kira's original character board. And again, just using a few tropes to map out the personality. You'll notice a couple of them make a point of her biology and her age, and this is where we start to get some more insight into one of the more sci-fi aspects of the story, which is the alien races. Having Kira as an alien allows me to share details about her species, and those details inform the way that she thinks and acts. Her biology also gives her a very specific skill set grounded in her ability to shapeshift. How she uses that ability and deals with some of its constraints as well as its benefits are good ways to give her character some depth and make her point of view very different to a human's, as well as providing a couple of interesting pl plot devices. I still wanted Kira to be a relatable character for the readers though, so I gave her a more conventional family background than Jen. So she adds a few options for people to find a character that really resonates with them who's telling part a critical part of the story. Now, I said last time that Jen was my favourite character to write with, and that's true, but Kira is probably the character that I identify with most. Not because I'm an alien shapeshifter, sadly, um, but because her background is closer to mine in real life. Uh, and although Jen might seem to be the hero, thanks to her confidence and her charm, and her you know, position was very much a sort of Han Solo-ish character, um, if you look more closely, uh, you'll see that it's really Kira that the story can't live without. And that's about all I wanted to say on Kira for now, so thanks for watching and uh, remember to stay tuned on Facebook and Twitter for more news on conflagration. See you next time!